Yeah, Megan and Steve, the debate was organized by the Associated General Contractors of Maine, so we heard a lot from the candidates about infrastructure and the economy. Most of the discussion was cordial and focused on policy, but there were a few sharp elbows. Not too long ago, Republican too House Minority Leader Ken Fredette done. threw the first I'm punch well, during his yeah. opening statement. I'm also a lifelong Republican principled Republican. It's not something that I came to recently. A swipe at businessman Sean Moody, a recent convert to the Republican Party. I don't have any political background. I'm not a legislator, a lawyer, lobbyist. I'm just a business guy, just like you guys. The 10 candidates, four Democrats, four Republicans, and two independents, played to their audience, a room full of builders and tradespeople. Every hometown in this state, it's harder to find a plumber, electrician, a finished carpenter, or a mason than it is to find a lawyer. Much of the discussion about jobs, education and energy was framed in terms of what state government should and should not be doing to promote growth. We've got to be aggressive in introducing more affordable energy options in this state and get government out of the way. Not every solution has to come from government. It wasn't all economics. The candidates also talked about the opioid crisis that is killing, on average, more than one Mainer a day. It's a national tragedy. It's a national embarrassment. And the Maine legislature has failed to properly address this issue. When I was sheriff and trying to help addicts get a job, some of you took that risk. Some of you were willing to take that journey with them. So why just 10 of the more than 20 candidates? The CEO of Associated General Contractors of Maine tells me the organization's members selected 13 candidates to invite. Three didn't respond, 10 did and showed up. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8. All right.